let us understand what is PERT or program evaluation and review technique. In some of the earlier videos, we have covered the critical path method. The critical path method is based on a single time estimate required to execute an activity of the project. So we saw the critical path method or CPM which is based on the single time estimate for an activity. On the other hand PERT uses the probabilistic approach to arrive at the duration of an activity. So this technique PERT uses the probabilistic approach for the estimate. So let's consider the case of say construction projects. Now in case of construction projects if you are building the same kind of houses you can definitely estimate for sure that how much is it going to cost to do each of the activity based on your past experience. However, if you are in research and development and you are trying to come up or research on a new product, it is very difficult to estimate exactly how much time is it going to take for the completion of that activity. So in case of construction projects, we can use the CPM technique While in case of research and development, we can use the PERT technique. So CPM is used where the project managers can accurately predict how much time a particular activity will take. While PERT is applied in projects where the duration of various activities cannot be predicted with certainty. Now the PERT system is based on three time estimates. So the first one is optimistic time estimate. Also denoted as TO. So this is the shortest possible time estimate of an activity. It is based on the premise that everything will go right for the earliest completion of the activity or in other words it considers the best case scenario. So this is based on the best case scenario. The second time estimate is the pessimistic time estimate. also denoted as TP. This is the longest possible time estimate of an activity. It is based upon the worst case scenario of the activity. The third estimate is the most likely time estimate. also denoted as TM. This is the time estimate that has the highest probability of occurrence. This estimate takes into consideration the productivity of the likely resources to be assigned to the project or the activities. It also takes into consideration the regular interruptions that can happen to complete the activities and so on. Now with these three time estimates we can arrive at the expected 
टाइम एस्टिमेट विच विल बी बेस्ड ऑन ऑल दीज थ्री नाउ बेस्ड ऑन द रिसर्च डन बाय रिसर्चर्स इट हैज बीन फाउंड दैट द एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द एक्सपेक्टेड टाइम एस्टिमेट is the highest when we take a weighted average of the three times a weight of 1 each is given to the optimistic and the pessimistic time estimate and a weight of 4 is given to the most likely time estimate so the formula for the expected time estimate which is also denoted as t e is t o with a weight of 1 plus 4 times t m plus t p with a weight of 1 and then this is an average of six numbers so it is you know uh, t o plus t m plus t m plus t m plus t m plus tp so tm is 4 times so if you are taking the average we divide by the number of data that we have so this is divided by 6 so this becomes our formula for expected time estimate calculation